It's a blessing to welcome on one of the top players in 2022. Now the newest and the only commit of Louisville's 2022 recruiting class, Dante Davis. How you doing, man? I'm good. What about you? Pretty good. Well, it's now been a few weeks. I can imagine it's starting to settle in a little bit. Take us through this commitment. How are you feeling right now? I feel good. I feel good about the commitment. And this was kind of a long journey. You had a top six you're kind of looking through. Take us through that, though. What stood up with those programs, and why are we really heavily looking at those six programs? Uh, them, the schools, they really recruited me hard. So, um, you know, I just knew that them was the top schools that I need to look at as far as uh, where I went to go. Uh, when, I, when I first announced that I'd be committing on a certain date, uh, was when I first started digging. You know, not first started digging, but mm-hmm. first started really thinking, like, all right, now it's time to make my decision. And um, I looked at every school uh, thoroughly uh, to make sure, you know, the decision I make is the right decision. So I appreciate every, appreciate every coach that came to uh, recruit me. Um, and I just came up with the final decision that, my, that I should uh, commit to Louisville. I know it's a school for me. You're one of the earlier guys to commit now. Not too many 2022 guys have committed. It's only been about six months or so since college coaches start talking to you guys consistently. Take us this past six months, though. Obviously, you come down to the decision – Louisville's where you're going, but this is kind of a quick rush time, not too much visits because it's all with COVID going on. How would you narrow down this quickly? Um, Really, I did it based off, like, the contact, like, how coaches recruit me, um, the play style of every uh, school, um, like, the different things and how they recruited me. So, like, it was it was just, I don't know. I just knew Louisville was a school for me by the way they recruited me. They recruited me the hardest. Um the way that they recruited me, uh, the relationships with coaches, uh, teammates, I stay in touch with uh, the team, uh, different stuff like that. So it was just a different feel, a different touch. So I knew that Louisville was for me. Internally, as you're narrowing down this decision, was there maybe another program? Was it number two or three school that really came down to the final running with you? Really, I just, it was six schools. I, I didn't really narrow down to, to two or three. Uh, I looked at every school. Um, you know, here, 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 and then just looked at my options and, and chose a little. I, I never really, I never really thought of it like that to narrow it down to two or three. Mm-hmm. It just Louisville, Louisville stood out really. And let's get into this because we've talked now. I think this is our third interview, and everyone knows the big connection. You have an older brother, Dre. He's been a Division One high level player, and now is killing out that Louisville. We kind of always in this connection. You guys have played together in high school, played out really well there. It kind of always been a rumor people have always looked at. This is now becoming a reality for you guys, though. You guys will play at the college level together. How excited does that make you? Uh, it makes me really excited. Uh, hopefully, I get to play with him. You know, uh, who knows if, if you can see he might go or might stay. So, hopefully, I get to play with him. If I do get to play with him, it'll be, you know, a blessing. Like I said, and I think I said it in uh, the first or second interview. I was like, don't, don't uh, many people be able to get the opportunity to play with their brother in college. So uh, it's going to be a blessing. I'm excited, to, excited excited, for it. So, yeah. As you mentioned, the NBA opportunity for Dre will be there. I think he's kind of shocked a lot of people. He's clearly the starter out there now, and he's been doing his thing. But just watching him go out there and succeed, play the way he's playing right now, what's it been like watching that? Uh, it's been inspirational, uh, motivational. Um, i just been taking it all in, like just seeing what he's been doing, talking to him, like different, about different things, just to better myself. Uh, and be where he at on his level, uh, just to prepare for the next level. So just seeing him watch him and do his thing on TV, though, is is, is, is inspirational. Um, you know, I'm happy for him to the fullest. You get a different perspective. Not a lot of recruits get to see the way you've got to see this recruiting process. And you kind of got to watch him. You got to hear from Dre, what his experience is like. How much does that help you during the recruiting process? Uh, like when he would go on, on uh, visits and stuff like that, he would take me with him just uh, to show me the ropes, kind of, if that makes sense. Mm-hmm. Um, and I would just I would go with him and just see how he responded to coaches, the way he moved, the way he acted, the way he carried himself. Uh, it taught me a lot how to carry myself. Uh, so that helped me a lot with my recruitment process on how to respond to coaches, how to act, how to behave. Um, and just him working hard, seeing him work hard, be every day, be in the gym every day. Uh, it helped me a lot with my recruitment process. So, uh, and also how to make my decision. Uh, not necessarily how to make my decision, but like different ways to look at the different schools and different things like that. Um, he never pushed me to a certain school or to another school. He just, uh, you know, how he looked at his recruitment process, how he showed me the ropes. So, that helped me a lot. 
What has he kind of told you about Louisville? He loved Louisville. Like, mm-hmm. like that, that he loved Louisville. Um, and I've been in contact with him. You know, college is fun. It's a different life. Um, you got more freedom. Uh, not as much right now because COVID, but mm-hmm. but he's loving the college life a little bit. He loves Louisville. Uh, you know, practice is hard. It's gonna, always going to be hard. A workout's going to be hard. Uh, you know, he told me a lot of things like that. Everyone knows that the brother bond on the court, it can't be replicated. There's no chemistry you can create stronger than two brothers that play together. And if Dre still is out there when you play in your freshman season, what could you just accomplish and what would it be like being on that court together? Sky is the limit in my eyes. Um, we still got to win as a team. Mm-hmm. Uh, if that makes sense. So, you know, when I'm on the court, you know, Dre's my teammate uh, at that moment, not my brother. Um, but, you know, it's always my brother, though. Mm-hmm. Uh, but, you know, accomplishments is, is the sky is the limit, really. So everybody on the team is my brother. Mm-hmm. Uh, every teammate is my brother when I'm on the court. Now, a big part of your recruiting process obviously comes down to coaching staff, Coach Mack, and your guys' bond. How has that been? What's it been like co- talking to Coach Mack, and how does your guys' relationship stand right now? Uh, it's real strong. I love Coach Mack. Coach, I love Coach Mack. I can't wait to play for him. Uh, I have nothing good, nothing but good things to say about Coach Mack. Um, yeah, I can't wait to play for him. I know he's going to push me. Uh, we have a great relationship. Um, he's, he, he's recruited me really hard. So uh, we'll ha- we have a good relationship. I can't wait to play for him. How about off the court? What's it like on the personal level? What's it like just talking to him? Uh, talk to, he's a great person. He's a great guy. I, anybody would say he's a great guy. Um, you know, he has a great personality. Uh, you know, he's he's a lovable coach. He's a lovable person. Uh, he's a great person. He's a great personality, like I said. I love Coach Matt. Now, throughout this process, I said, you kind of got the inside scoop because of Dre. But from the time you guys first started talking, having contact with Louisville, how has that grown? How has you guys bond kind of got close? So not just Coach Mack, but the entire coaching staff. Uh, the entire coaching staff was always – uh, recruiting me hard. So uh, I have a great relationship with the entire coach staff. That was also something that really stood out about Louisville. I didn't really get that with, with every school, like every single coach, you know, I got a great relationship with them. So that that's really stood out. When did Louisville really start separating themselves? When did you know Louisville, this is where I want to commit. I'm going to become a Cardinal. Really uh, when it came time to uh, make my decision, when it was closer to make my decision, uh, that's really when, you know, I was like, you know, Louisville is a place for me. It really came from the heart. Like, I started maturing. Um, I just – it really came from the heart. Like, I was that's just where my head was at. That's where my head was at. When it was time to make my decision, man, I was like, Louisville, Louisville, Louisville. Louisville the place. That's the place for me. Did you know Louisville was the place, like, a couple of days before the big announcement? Or did you know on the day? When kind of was that process timeline-wise? Uh, it was a couple of days before the uh, commitment day. It was a couple of days before. And you call the coaching staff and you tell them, I'm going to become a Cardinal. What's their reaction? Excited. <laughs> they were really excited. Yeah, really excited. So, yeah, really excited. I was I was happy to be a Cardinal. Mm-hmm. And they, they were happy for me to be a Cardinal. And that made me happy too. So, yeah. As we know, Dre's not with you right now, but – when did he know? When did you finally tell him that you're going to be teaming up with him? Uh, the same day I told the coach staff. I told him the same day. Right, Actually, right before I caught the coach staff, I told Dre. What was his reaction? He was super excited. He was geek. Yeah, he was geek. And people are seeing now, Dre's really thriving the small ball role right now. You're going to be a little bit different, though. You can also run the guard position, maybe a small forward, too. You've grown a little bit. But what can Louisville fans expect from you? What will you bring to the Cardinals? Uh, anything the coaches need me to bring to the Cardinals, I'm willing to bring. Whatever uh, I can do to help the team win, really. I'm not really looking for, uh, you know, certain accolades or anything. I just want to help the team win. So, you know, we can hopefully win a championship. Do whatever the coaches need me to do. You still have about a year and a half to get on campus. What do you want to improve on? What do you want to work on until that time cut does come? Uh, really, my whole game, you know, shooting, driving, finishing, everything like that. Uh, being a workhorse, uh, everything. There's always room for improvement for everything, every aspect of my game. So I'm just going to work on everything, really.
We're not going to talk too much about personal stuff because we did a couple months ago. But in terms of this upcoming movement, you've played now a few games of the season, starting to get acclimated to your new team. Take us through what it feels like playing for Warren Central and how the season's going so far. It's been great. My teammates been great. Um, I love the team. We uh, we're going through a rough patch right now, but uh, we'll be we'll be back. Uh, we have a great team. We're st- we're constantly getting better. Um, you know, we're jamming together. Well, we just you know gotta end up on top every game. But we getting better every day. We working hard every day, so we'll be fine. I believe you've also had that growth spurt now. At the very end of the season when COVID started, first set in, you're six foot four. Now I believe you're six foot six or even taller. How have you grown into this and how have you got used to this new growth spurt? I really ain't feel it like that for real. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I just really ain't felt the growth spurt, uh, even though I've been growing. So it really ain't affected me too much. That is two inches taller, though. Have you seen the difference now that you're playing games again? Uh, nah, not really. I just ain't, I ain't really noticed for real. Without a doubt. Now, in your recruiting class, you're the first guy now. Are there any of the guys you're targeting? Are there any other players you'd like to team up with at Louisville? Uh, whoever wants to come to Louisville, I'm, you know, trying to recruit them as well. You know what I'm saying? Or, or whoever the coaches want, I'm definitely trying to recruit them and get them to come on along with me. Um, mm-hmm. uh, you know, there's some specific players I want to team up with maybe in the future. Well, uh, we'll see what happens. Being the first guy, you are the face of this class now. You're kind of the head of it all. And you kind of are going to take on a little bit of a recruiting role down the line now. But what's your approach? You're talking to a guy that stays down to three, four, five schools, whatever it is. Why is Louisville a school that's best for them? Uh, Louisville's a great school. Like I said, uh, great relationship with the coaching staff. Coaches are great, great personalities. Uh, you're going to be the best player you can be at Louisville. Everybody's going to push you. So, uh, you know, and that's exactly what I heard. Everybody's going to push you. You're going to get the best out of the world. Uh, and the coach is going to put their best and they all into you. So um, that's that's a, a good reason why Louisville will be the top school out of all the schools they pick. I think another thing we've started seeing now is that the team is super close, especially this year. They're always having fun with each other, hanging out. That That's a tight-knit bond. That's not what a lot of programs do have. What do you like about that? What do you like about seeing the team as close as they are? I love that uh, team bonding and stuff like that. I love that. Uh, it makes a brotherhood, you know. So that's great in my eyes. That's great. That's another reason why Louisville should be the top pick for whoever they offer. Who have you kind of talked to also for insight into, into Louisville and just kind of have kind of formed a great relationship with on the team? Uh, pretty much everybody. Um, I was pretty much everybody. Um, yeah, I can't really name no names right now. I don't want to leave anybody out, but pretty much everybody. Well, you will be playing the ACC, and that is one of the best conferences in the country, top-level competition each night. How excited are you about playing that conference? Uh, it'll be really exciting uh, being to play the, uh, against the top competition uh, and, you know, being able to do that and be on a, a big platform is great. Um, playing the top competition like that, it only make you better. And uh, playing on a top platform like that, it only uh, get you seen, get you where you want to be. So, is there a certain team that you look forward to playing the most? Rivalry, Kentucky, the rival. Kentucky. And you, they obviously just had the big win over them, and that's something. Obviously, it's not just a one-year thing. You guys wanted to, you guys wanted to kind of create this tradition of being able to beat Kentucky and potentially take over the state in general. How do you look to do that? It's going to take a long time to kind of get to that history, but. How are you guys be able to build upon that and continue to beat Kentucky? I think Coach Mack is on the on the uh, is on the road right now. I think you know we can do that for sure. Uh, I think Coach Mack got it got it got it down right now. And he clearly nailed it with twenty twenty one top ten recruiting class. Roosevelt Wheeler. You also have big time guys like Mike, L. Ellis, Eric. You got a lot of Bobby Pettiford, a lot of big time players. Do you have to have a relationship with any of those guys yet? Uh, not right now. Not right now. Uh, looking forward to in the future. Absolutely, man. Well, a few more things before I let you go. One as I always talk about, as you know, is talking about your legacy. And that's something I think all guys want to create. So now that you know you're going to Louisville, when you do wrap up your career there, what do you want your legacy to be for your Louisville career and what you do with on and off the court there? Uh, I just want to, you know, carry myself the right way on and off the court. Uh, I want everybody to know that I'm a great person and that, 
you know, I want to be, you know, just a dog. So, I mean, I don't, I don't really know what to say about legacy. Just I want my legacy to be great. I know that for sure. No doubt, man. My final thing for you, give Louisville fans your three biggest goals you have set for your Louisville career. Uh, be Kentucky, uh, get a national championship, and I don't know the third one. Them the two biggest ones, though, for sure. Absolutely, Mel. Congratulations once again. I appreciate you taking time to come on today, man. Appreciate you. Of course, you're welcome on, man. God bless. God bless.